Hi there. In this video you can see how to create signal coverage. I'll open a previous file with those coordinates and I'll go to coverage module. Click new project and name it somehow. I'll put something descriptive like site 1. And save. Use desired site like S1 or S2 and choose one sector and smaller azimut increment. There we go. Also, I'll reduce this distance increment to 100 meters. Just be careful with those values because large values will give you a rough prediction, while smaller values will increase calculation time sometimes so much that your computer won't be able to handle it. Again I'll copy values from chosen site but you can change them like antenna heights or height of receiving site. Also here I'll choose line of sight only. Frequencies over 10G must work with line of sight and this will actually give me all points in the neighborhood that can be re reached from desired site. Let's, let's run it. Red area is coverage that can be reached from our site. Gray area cannot be reached. We can use marker and, we, and move it over map to read coordinates. That, that might be interesting. Here and this is reachable area also this part ok enough playing let's do the same with other side Let's create coverage with other side of the link. Okay, I'll redu reduce azimuth and distance increment even more than on previous. So it, it should be slightly better. So heights, I'll change them like big height on the transmitting side, line of sight. This takes more time, so I cut the video. And we get coverage from our site too. Again, within red area, a microwave links in 13 gigahertz can be made. I have insert those pictures into Google Earth to get some real feeling of what we actually got. Here are both coverages from site 1 and site 2. I can hide one of them. Let's, let's go closer. Look how it, look how it followed edges of a canyon. Also area within a canyon cannot be reached. Actually, it could be if we move our tower toward the edge, but from this point, those are shadow. Canyon is, sh is in the shadow. See second coverage from my previous vid video. A site one should be out of sight, sight, and it is not in the red area. this peak over here because it's close to the site too has huge impact on the coverage and uh, everything after it, it's in the shadow that means that in generally speaking our tower should be on the top of the hill 
so we can get better coverage but sometimes we cannot choose that last view of the coverage both of them and that's all in this video